have learnt about nouns in great detail and we know that nouns are naming words that name people, places, animals or things. Now read the words given here. Rainbow, cotton, pile, a pile of books, Taj Mahal, Kelly, Mount Everest. Now all these words are naming words. So they are nouns and all these words name things which are concrete which you can either see or touch. So these are all concrete nouns. So what are concrete nouns? Concrete nouns are nouns that we can physically see, touch, smell, hear or taste. In other words, things that we can perceive by any of our senses are known as concrete nouns. Now let us read the words here. Stairs, bricks, page. Now all these words are concrete nouns. We can physically touch them and see them also. Now we see here that stairs, we can count the number of stairs. We have lot of bricks here. We can count the number of bricks and we see that we have a single page here. So we can say that concrete nouns are countable. They can be plural as in the case of stairs or bricks here or they can be singular like a page here. But what about nouns like rice, furniture, milk. Now these nouns are also concrete nouns but we know that these are uncountable. So we can say that concrete nouns can be uncountable also. Now we see a lot of balls here and we see the beautiful Taj Mahal and we can see an album of photographs. So balls, Taj Mahal, album are all concrete nouns. Now we know that balls is common noun. Taj Mahal is proper noun. It is the name of a particular monument and album of photographs. Album is a collective noun. So we can say that concrete nouns can be either common noun or proper noun or collective noun. So what is the difference between concrete nouns and abstract nouns? Now concrete nouns are nouns that we can physically see, touch, smell, hear or taste. So they are names of concrete things. Whereas abstract nouns are nouns that we cannot physically see, touch, smell, hear or taste. So they are names of abstract things. Now concrete nouns can either be common nouns or proper nouns or collective nouns and we have seen that they can be either countable or uncountable. Abstract nouns are usually uncountable. For example, when we say child, it is a common noun as well as a concrete noun. But childhood is the name of a state, so it is an abstract noun. Now let us do this exercise. Identify the concrete nouns in the given sentence. My mother gives me an egg daily for breakfast. Let us first identify all the nouns in this sentence. Mother, egg, breakfast. Now what are the nouns that are concrete nouns here? Mother, egg. Now breakfast is not a concrete noun. The things that we have for breakfast are concrete but breakfast does not refer to anything concrete as such. So only mother and egg are concrete nouns in this sentence. What about this sentence? 
He is a citizen of the Republic of Belarus who has faced several dangers while sailing across many oceans. Let us first identify all the nouns in the sentence. Citizen, Republic of Belarus, dangers and oceans. Now what are the concrete nouns in this sentence? Citizen, Republic of Belarus and oceans. Dangers is not a concrete noun. Dangers is an abstract noun. So today we have learned about concrete nouns. So names of things that are concrete and that can be perceived by any of our senses are known as concrete nouns. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5,000 amazing lectures across maths, science, English and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests, performance analysis with actionable feedback, personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So learning at Delta Step is not just fun and easy, it is also rewarding. So register for free now.